Hi everyone, it's Brenda and Stu from Flip It and Restore It. Today's video is going to be a restoration of this G Plan Astro coffee table. We found it on Facebook Marketplace. It wasn't listed as any brand, it was just literally painted coffee table. But I know the shape and I've been looking for one of these for ages to be able to restore. It's just been painted with some water-based paint. There's no primer, there's no top coat, so it should be fairly easy to remove. First of all, we're going to remove that glass insert and try not to break it. As you can see, the paint's chipping off the bottom. It's, it's not a professional paint job, it's just someone who slapped a bit of paint on at home, I think. We're using home strip paint and varnish remover, which is an eco-friendly paint stripper. It's water-based rather than solvent-based, which just means it's better for the environment and it's a much easier cleanup than when you're using chemical stripper. The downside is you do have to use quite a bit more. You've got to layer it on quite thickly and go over it a second time and it takes a little bit longer. So I'm just being quite generous with the amount that I'm putting on, uh, making sure to get a quite a thick layer on there so it can start working at removing that paint. You can see there that it's starting to bubble away, which is exactly what you want to happen. Um, and you know that's when it's time to start scraping away the paint. What didn't work in our favour on this particular project was the fact that the paint had gotten into the wood grain. This is a teak wood that this table is made from and a lot of that paint got stuck in the wood grain but we'll solve that issue in the next step. And as you can see there, that's not ready. I've just had to apply another layer to the top here as it wasn't removing as easily as it had on the bottom pieces. So just taking some mineral spirits now and using some steel wool just to remove what's left of that paint and to get down into um, that wood grain and pull the paint out of the wood grain. Because this is an eco stripper, you don't need to use mineral spirits to neutralize it. So I'm not using it for that purpose. It's more for the purpose of removing what's left of the paint. If you're going to be doing a project like this, just be prepared for the mess. 
I definitely recommend laying down some cardboard over where you're working because all the paint that comes off the stripper, the mineral spirits, it is a complete mess. So now that we've gone over it with the stripper and the mineral spirits, this is as good as we're going to get it. And now we're going to need to sand to remove what's left. Luckily, this is a solid wood piece, so it has capacity for us to sand quite a lot. If this was a veneered piece, then um, it would be a lot more tricky. Starting off with 120 grit sandpaper for this process. And I'm also using the sponge pad that comes from Festool. Because there's a lot of curves on this table, I want to make sure that I'm not flattening them out. And this 15mm sponge pad is really good at going around those curves. I'm not going to lie, there was a lot of sanding in this process. This is sped up by about a thousand times, I think. This is real time sanding and you can see it's pretty slow going. So as you can see, once you've finished sanding, it really is starting to look so much better and you have a really good idea of how it's going to look once it's finished now. Just taking some more of those mineral spirits and wiping down the table to remove any dust that's left over from the sanding process. So here you can see, this is how the table's going to look once it's got the hard wax oil on it. That's what we use is the Osmo hard wax oil. This table has such a beautiful wood grain. It really is stunning. And also when I was doing this wiping down, I noticed some of the areas where there was still paint stuck in the wood grain. So I had to go in again and do some more sanding to get that out of the wood grain. And I used these dental tools or famison uh, which we've got linked in our description box below um, all the products that we use and these are really good for picking out paint in the really small cracks and crevices And now what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a coat of the spray lacquer.
these spray gun handles are so convenient. You just pop them on and off of your of your different cans, and it just makes spraying so much easier. Again, it'll be linked in the products we love in the description box down below. For the final seal on this piece, we're going in with some Osmo Pollux hard wax oil in clear. We're using this uh, sponge applicator, which we found in a local store of ours. It's called Asda. So if you're in the UK, I would definitely recommend looking for these. It comes in a little pack of, I think there was four different types of sponge applicators, different sizes and shapes, um, packaged with a paint tray. And I think it was only about four pounds. Um, and they work really well for applying the Osmo oil. You could use them for paint or varnish or whatever you wanted. Um, so we just went round the table and gave it, in the end, I think it was three thin coats of the Osmo oil. Which just really richens up that wood grain and gives it a beautiful satin sheen. Here's a quick reminder of what the before looked like. And here is how it looks now that it's been fully restored. As you can see, that beautiful teak wood is now on full show and the star of the show. If you found this video useful, if you've enjoyed watching it, then please do consider subscribing and liking and follow us on our socials to see even more behind the scenes footage.